Hello sunflowers, Mystic Intuition here, getting ready to do a pick a card reading. This is actually going to be uh, for the most voted question, which was, will this person confess their feelings to you? And we'll kind of see like what those feelings actually are or what messages they want to share with you uh, when they confess their feelings to you. So I have three piles listed here. There'll be timestamps in the description box below. Uh, pile number one here is the Gilded Terra Royale with a rose quartz skull. Pile two is the uh, Wizard's Tarot with a Malachite Swan. Pile three is the Mermaid Tarot with a Tiger's Eye Elephant. Welcome there, pile number one. If you chose the Rose Quartz Skull, then this reading is for you. So let us move our deck to the side here, and we're going to first start off with getting some Oracle cards. First thing we want to do, obviously, is find out what they actually feel about you. Okay. So what does this person feel about pal number one, please? What does this person feel about pal number one? Okay. So we have the voyage card. Okay. And then we have miracles. So it definitely feels like between you and this person, you there could be distance between you emotionally or definitely possibly physically for some of you. Um, with the Miracles card, it could be that maybe you met under very unusual circumstances. You know, like maybe this person is in the military and they were stationed for a brief period of time wherever you live or they were just passing at the right time you met on vacation or something. Some kind of weird circumstances. Maybe some you met online even. Um, where it's very unlikely for the two of you to actually, you know, meet each other or something. Like, you came together, and it, it just feels very interesting. Let's see. What does this person feel about you? What does this person feel about pile number one? What does this person feel about pile number one? Well, okay. One more, please. There we go. Yeah, so you're you can you are at a distance from this person. If if you chose this pile and that doesn't resonate for you, you may want to pick another pile. Or just remember that time is fluid, so this could have resonated past, present, or future. Um, the first card here says we need to let each other go. So because of the circumstances between you, this person knows that it might it might be really difficult for the two of you to physically actually be together. You know, there might be maybe they live there, you live here, you know. Maybe one of you it looks like it is in the military or something like that where you physically can't just come and go as you please, you know. Um, I lost myself for a little while. So this person might have went through a period of time where they were kind of pushing you away or just not acting like themselves because, and again, we don't justify negative actions or behaviors, but for whatever reason, this person was feeling really down, really discouraged. They were letting a lot of things get to them. They were not acting like themselves. You speak to me through music. So there could be special songs that you hear that remind you of this person and vice versa, uh, or songs that you share together that you both really love, like different musicians. But this person's saying that you do speak to them through music. I can't stop thinking about you. So you are heavily on this person's mind, even when you're not physically together. This person can't stop thinking about you. I feel you even though we are apart. So what does this person feel? Well, this person is kind of obsessed with you, to be honest. This person definitely has certain things that remind them of you. And then even under the deck here, we see so many things remind me of you. So that's just further confirmation that for this person, they haven't let you go. They haven't stopped thinking about you. They still feel a very strong connection to you, even if right now they're feeling a bit discouraged, like... There's just no way this is going to work. I mean, I'm here. Your life is there. How would we ever mend it? How would it, you know, how would we ever bring it together? You know, so they are feeling kind of discouraged about your connection overall, but this person does have very deep feelings for you. Um, let's obviously find out more, though, because that's just not enough for us to go on. So what does this person feel about you? And will they confess their feelings? What do they feel about you and will they confess their feelings? They might even feel like you're a gift or you're somebody who came in their life who helped them through many things with the miracles card. Maybe even at a distance, virtually for some of you. What 
does this person feel about you? You, okay, ooh, you definitely could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or an Aries. You don't have to be. We have the Moon, Pisces, Cancer under the deck. So yeah, this person, that's why you're here, because this person has not, they have not talked about their feelings. And if they have, it's been very little that's been said. They haven't really gone into detail. You're still left with a lot of questions, a lot of doubts about this person's true feelings and intentions with you. This person, it's like they, there's a lot of feelings that are hidden here, but like they try to rationalize it. They try to rationalize what they feel like. It's just, it's too good to be true. It's got to be lust. It can't be love, you know. For some of you, you may not have even physically met this person or spent as much time as you want with this person or you haven't seen them in a long time because it feels like you're apart. It feels like you and this person, like I said, if that doesn't resonate, choose a different pile. This feels like a situation where you and this person physically cannot be together or spend time together. And so that's left this person with, these feelings can't be real. These feelings just can't, they can't be real. The feelings that I'm having, there's been too much time, space and distance between us. How could this be real? They're trying to rationalize what they feel, but they can't stop thinking about you. They feel the spiritual connection. This person might be very logical. Like this person may not be very spiritual or even if they do sense or feel things, they try to, again, justify it in their mind you know well I feel them but it's I'm just going crazy they, uh, there's no way that I'm like sensing this person's energy like they're trying to like make sense of it almost like it's terrifying them tell me more tell me more what is this person's feelings queen of cups cancer scorpio pisces the two of cups they're in love with you but that's why they haven't confessed their feelings against strong Scorpio. They haven't, they haven't expressed their feelings because they try to tell themselves it's just in their head. And that doesn't mean that that's actually the case, but that's how they, that's what they're trying to tell themselves. A lot of fire here too. This person, yeah, they're yearning, wishing, waiting, wanting to see you again. They feel like when they see you, when they spend time with you, they're going to be able to make more sense of the feelings that they have. It's like they feel so discouraged because there could be many things that have kind of come between you and this person. This person feels like you've been there for them more than people who are physically close to them every day. Family, friends, like in no matter how much time you've been together, for some of you, if it's been six months, you know, two years, 18 years, what, however long you and this person have been talking, some of you just weeks, months even, this person feels like you've been there for them. That you've, they've been able to rely on you, depend on you in ways that they haven't been able to do with anyone else in their life. Even really close friends and family. Like you've helped this person overcome so much. And there's so much attraction and passion and desire. But this person hasn't expressed it because they're trying to tell themselves this can't be real. But they feel like seeing you face to face and spending physical time with you is going to help them put things into perspective. So will this person confess their feelings? Yes, but I feel like this person's waiting to see you and spend time, physical time with you before they reveal what they truly feel towards you. Okay, because again, they're trying to rationalize. There's just no way I'm feeling what I'm feeling. This is just in my head. It has to be. This can't be real. This doesn't happen to me. I don't have these kind of feelings. But at the same time, like deep in their heart, deep in their mind, they know that there's something about you that they can't just rationalize. It's like there's something spiritually that has you know, connected you to. So yeah, this person, they do have a lot of hidden feelings for you, a lot of hidden desire. This person though, I don't see them like texting you how they feel. They want to see you face to face. They want to be physically close to you. They want to look you in the eyes and be able to say these things to you. And they're waiting for that opportunity to do that. Okay. So that's what I have for you, pile number one. If this resonated, uh, be sure to like, share, subscribe. I uh, really appreciate hearing comments from you guys. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for sending donations. It's truly appreciated. I'm going to clear this out of the way, and I'm going to go ahead and jump into pile number two. Hello there, pile number two. If you chose the Malachite Swan, this is your reading. I'm going to go ahead and move the deck, though, to the side, and we're going to get some additional messages here. 
All right, for the collective, what is going on here? How does, first thing we want to know is how does this person really feel about you? You know, confessing feelings will be great, but we need to know first how they actually feel. So how does this person feel about you? Okay, this card came up for pile number one. So some of you, that pile could resonate some for you as well. Um, and, la ooh, okay, starting off strong. Okay, we have miracles, and then we have love. So for those of you who are wondering, does this person have romantic feelings for you? They're saying, yeah, this person does, but let's see more. What does this person feel about you? What does this person feel? Okay, I am seeing some similarities here uh, between this pal and the previous one. We need to let each other go also came out for pal number one. We need to let each other go. So it's not saying I want to let you go. It's saying we need to. So there may be something in your circumstances that are keeping you and this person from coming together in union or being together in some way or for them or preventing them from opening up about how they actually feel. I knew exactly what I was doing. Okay. Just being near you is intoxicating. Okay. We're okay. This is starting to make more sense. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. And then I know I was a distraction from your pain. So for some of you, what I am getting here is that this person might have come into your life at a time where you were going through like a, like a lot of stuff. Like you might have been dealing with a lot of trauma or past pain or grief. You were struggling in some way, emotionally, physically, spiritually, mentally, even for some of you. And if that's not you, don't again, don't force it to fit. Take what resonates. But for some of you, I can see that here. Like maybe a bad breakup or... You know, just struggling with a loss of someone or just kind of feeling out of place. You know, there can be many reasons why you're going through a lot of stuff. This person, I feel like when they came into your life, they did not intend on this being something serious. And that might offend some of you. And I'm not trying to offend anyone, but I'm going to be honest about what I'm seeing. And like I say, these are general. So take the messages that resonate for you and leave what doesn't. Always choose a different pile if it doesn't resonate. Um... But I feel like this person was so extremely attracted to you initially like right off the bat. They like had to have you. They couldn't resist. They couldn't hold back. Just being you is intoxicating. I knew what I was doing. I hid who I really am from you. This person was not being fully honest in the past. And that doesn't mean they're not being honest now. But in the past, there was a lot this person held back and hid from you. And hid from the connection. And so I think that this person knows that you deserve better. I knew what I was doing. We need to let you go because you deserve better. Like, I've learned a lot from you in this connection, and I have actually grown up a lot. Maybe even losing you. Okay, so let's see here. How does this person feel about you? We have love. This person fell in love and didn't expect that to happen. Because, again, when I get the miracles card, it kind of tells me a few things. I mean, it could be that maybe you met under very unusual circumstances. Maybe they feel like you're a miracle or an angel in their life. Maybe for them, it's crazy to think that they could even have this type of feelings for someone. Um, so what's going on? How does this person feel about you, and will they confess their feelings? Okay, this person's very secretive. They don't, they don't open up a lot. So we have the Seven of Swords, the Six of Swords, the King of Swords. So again, just like pile number one, a lot of air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We see the Four of Cups. I saw that fly out back there. Can you see that? Um, I know my nails look bad, guys. I'm trying to give my nails a break. Uh, we have Leo energy with the sun. Okay. So this person feels really discouraged and disappointed by this situation. Now, I am going to say this for a handful of you, maybe. It is possible that this person could have already been involved, betrothed to someone, maybe in an arranged marriage. They could have been married. They could have had a family with someone. Maybe they didn't fully tell you all of that in the beginning, okay? Like this person could have said, I'm divorced, but what they meant was my spouse and I decided to separate, but we haven't filed papers yet. Something like that for some of you. That's not, again, not for all of you. Um, this person is like very secretive when it comes to their feelings. I think that this person is the kind of person who doesn't even open up really to how about how they feel to even their closest friends. I think it doesn't mean they don't have feelings, but this person's very guarded with their emotions. 
but this person feels so excited by you. Like there's this playful, energetic, flirty, just fun kind of energy that they feel towards you. What does this person feel about you and will they confess their feelings to you? What does this person feel about you, pile number two? And will they confess their feelings? We have the Ace of Pentacles. What does this person feel? The Wheel of Fortune. What does this person... So, like I said, we saw the love card. And so, they are confirming that this person does have feelings of love for you. This person does have love for you. This person does love you. Um, and I think it kind of shocks this person in a way. I think that this person has some kind of pre-existing commitment. So, like I said, whether this person was like set up to be in an arranged marriage before they met you, or they've been dating someone or they have an ex with kids that they've been on and off with or something like that. Like this person, they know that in order to be with you, they have to make some kind of sacrifice and they know if they come clean about their feelings, that means that you'll have expectations that they're going to make changes. And this person, I think that they're really afraid to come clean about the past because they don't want to hurt you and they don't want to push you away or scare you off. This person isn't prepared to answer these questions because they don't know what they're going to do. Like, we need to let, I don't want to let you go. We need to let you there go. It's so hard just to be close to you, be around you. Some of you might not physically be in contact with this person, or maybe you're just very, they're very, they kind of like come and go, they're in and out, they're back and forth. This is one of those situations where I will definitely say, if this is your story, I would definitely encourage you to get a personal reading. If not with me, with someone that you trust who will tell you the truth. Um, right now as I'm filming, it is the 25th of um, April, 2023. Um, and I'm leaving for vacation at the beginning of May. So, you know, but I'll be back after my vacation. But does this person want to, they, I think they do want to tell you how they feel. Like they want to be honest with you. But they're not sure yet what to do about their circumstances. And in telling you how they feel, they feel like you're going to be, they feel like you're going to end up together. Okay. That's what you should know. They do feel that way. However, they know that if they talk about their feelings, at least right now, that you're going to have expectations for them to like get a divorce or cut their toxic ass family out or, you know, stand up to their ex and be like, I'm dating someone new and you can't keep the kids from me that, you know. They, 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 it's going to create some kind of conflict, whatever the situation might be. If they're married, obviously they may have to leave someone. I just feel like this person has some kind of like pre-existing commitment to family that kind of makes it hard for you guys to be together. Um, they want to tell you how they feel. Now, I feel like if you kind of open up to this person, they'll open up to you some, but I, I don't feel like this person is going to tell you everything. Not until they're sure of what their plans are. Because this person doesn't want to be rejected and they don't want to get your hopes up for something that they may not be able to offer just yet. Okay, so that's what I have for you, pile number two. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you for those of you who sent in comments. I love reading about your stories. Thank you for those of you that, you know, send donations. It's greatly appreciated. I'm going to clear this out of the way and we're going to move straight into pile number three. Hello there, pal number three. If you chose the tiger's eye elephant, then this is your reading. We're going to set it over here. I'm going to move the deck out of the way so we can pull out some oracle cards because we are going to ask, will they confess their feelings to you? But the first thing that I want to do is find out what they actually feel about you. Okay. So let's take a closer look at pal three's connection. How does this person feel about pal number three, please? How does this person feel about pal number three? Oh, wow. Okay. So straight away, we do have openness. Okay. Beautiful card. And then we have truth. So straight away, this person wants to tell you everything. This person wants to lay all of it on the table. This person doesn't want to keep any secrets from you. This is somebody who wants you to feel like you can be emotionally open and vulnerable with them. And they want to be able to reciprocate that. Okay. Um, let's see more though. Like what, but what do they feel? What do they feel about you? What does this person feel 
And I know my nails look horrible, you guys. I'm really sorry. I'm trying to give my natural nails some time to kind of like breathe. All right. So let us see. What does this person feel? What does this person feel about pile number three? What does this person feel? Okay. So they're saying I'm not available. And then even under that, let's just look at that. It says... My life is not as together as it seems. So they may not be able right now. Maybe not, they, they could physically be with someone else, but it doesn't have to be that. It could just be that their, their life is kind of a mess and they're not really able to be in a relationship right now. Okay, so I am seeing some repeating cards from pile number one. Um, I know I was a distraction from your pain. So this person, you know, when you two were connecting, you both could, one or both of you could have been going through a lot of stuff, okay? Um, like some of you breakups, um, some kind of rejection, family issues, maybe the loss of someone close to you, maybe, you know, instability in your job or, you know, problems with just health or anything like that, spirituality, emotions, mental, physical. There could be a lot of things you two were going through, okay? Maybe you leaned on each other a lot. I wish I could take back my words. So this person may have said something or done something that did really hurt you and it haunts them to this day, okay? You speak to me through music. So this person and you both might have certain songs that make you think about each other. Uh, there could be songs that you share and every time you hear it, you think about each other. You and I were too young. So now this means a couple of things. So it's possible that maybe you met this person when you were children or teenagers, you know, high school, sweethearts kind of thing, and you're reconnecting. For others of you, though, with this card, it doesn't always just, you know, talk about like your physical maturity or your physical age. It can say that the two of you just weren't ready to be together. Like maybe you met and you both had a lot of things to learn, to mature, to prepare for a serious relationship, okay? Um, I hope that one day you can forgive me. Okay, I hope that you can forgive me one day. This person, like I said, they constantly think back and reflect on the things that they had done they wish they could take back. This person has so much regret for her ever having caused you any type of pain whatsoever. This person thinks about it and it bothers them and they want you to tell them how you feel. They want to know because they want to be able to make up for it. Okay, so how does this person feel about you? And will they confess their feelings to you? How does this person feel about you? And will they confess their feelings to you? How does this person feel? And will they confess their feelings to you? Ooh, Ace of Cups. Okay, Nine of Swords. The Two of Swords. The Ace of Swords. Okay, the last two piles also had a ton of air energy. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also have King of... Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Under the deck is the Six of Wands. This person has such strong feelings for you. This person is in love with you. This person feels like you are meant to be together. This person feels like you are made for each other. This person feels so jealous and protective over you. Okay? This person, my cup runneth over. They are in love with you. Ace of Cups. But this person has so much anxiety, worry, and fear because something happened in the past and they hold on to a lot of regret for that. This person might think that maybe you've moved on with someone else or they fear that you will, okay? They may feel like you have other options, but this person's very protective and very jealous. I don't know why for some of you, but it is coming through that whether you're with someone else or not, they might have like misinterpreted or like saw someone like giving you attention, complimenting you, liking your photos, commenting, or um, just hanging around you at work or something. Like, and it's make it's driving them crazy. They can't stand the thought of you as someone else. This person, like I said, openness and truth, the ace of swords, this person wants to tell you how they feel. They're very eager to tell you because they feel like if they don't, they're going to miss their chance. It's very hard for this person to open up about how they feel. This is one of my favorite King of Cups. I mean, just look at how like sad he, and lonely he looks. This is, you know, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is somebody who feels very, very deeply, but is also the master of their emotions. This person is really sad. This person does not want to lose you. They don't want to give you up. They want your forgiveness. They want another chance to make this right. And they know that they need to speak up. So 
Tell us more, please. What does this person feel about pile number three? And what does this person want to tell you? Like what? Okay, Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Cups, new beginning and stability and emotion. Let's see. And the lovers, Gemini. I love the lovers here. It's like some of you could be at a distance, or maybe you're talking a lot online, text, Skype, you know, email, you know, social media, because we see like the, the mirror, like they're in different worlds looking through glass at each other, like through a screen maybe, or at photos of each other. Maybe you have photos that you reflect on. Okay. The Four of Cups, what does this person feel and what do they want to say? Okay, the Judgment card. So Three of Cups and Judgment. Out of the deck is the Knight of Pentacles. This person wants to make an offer to you. This person wants to be in a relationship with you. This person thinks that you're soulmates. Now, and, and again, whether you see it as like a soulmate or a twin flame, it doesn't matter. However, this person just feels like you're meant to be together. Like you're my person. They have no doubts about that. This person feels like they have really hurt you in the past. They have really disappointed you and they want to come in and cheer you up or make up for it. They want to take you out. They want to spend time with you. This person has had like a major wake up call. For some of you, this person is awakening spiritually to your connection. But like I said, there is something that made them feel like in the past. And again, we don't justify negative actions or behaviors, but we do want to understand, you know, how you got to this point or how they did. They feel like for some reason, their life is not as together as it seems. Something's not right in their life. They need to fix it to work on it so they can be able to come towards you the correct way. This person knows you deserve better. I hope that you can forgive me. I wish I could take back my words. You know, I, I, I feel like, you know, you deserve so much better and I took advantage of you in some way. I disappointed you. I just, you know, they're so hard on themselves. This person is so in love with you. And for some of you, I kind of feel like if you had spent time apart, for some of you, it could be that maybe they tried dating other people and they just, nobody compared to you. Nobody compared to you. There, there was nobody that could ever fill your shoes. There could nobody that would ever take your place. And they might have tried to write it off before because you're, there was distance between you or other obstacles, etc. But it all came down to, it doesn't matter how far apart you are. You're my person. And like this person just recognizes that. They see it so clearly now. This person wants to tell you how they feel. This person's in love with you. This person, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. This person wants to lay it all out on the table. They don't want to have any secrets and they want to know how you feel. So in answer to this question, how does this person feel? They're in love with you and they want to confess their feelings to you and they will. Um, for some of you, this person might be asking to like spend time with you. They might be asking to see you in like a social setting and they're going to like reveal all their feelings to you. Some of them, they might need like liquid courage. They're saying like this person might need to have a drink first. Um, for those of you who don't drink, like they might, they might surprise you. Like, I thought you didn't drink or something like that. Like, it's like, um, and this person's like, I just, I gotta like, and you're like, don't be nervous. What's wrong? Don't be, you don't have to be nervous. You have nothing to be nervous about. What's, you know, maybe you're feeling nervous too, but you're trying to reassure each other. This person's gonna confess how they feel, but it's really hard for them to open up, but they don't wanna hold back from you anymore. This person wants to lay it all out on the table. They feel the same way, and they are gonna make a move on you. So that is what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you so much for those of you that um, leave me comments. I love hearing about your stories down below. Um, thank you for those of you who have generously sent in donations and super chats. It is greatly appreciated. All right, as always, I wish you strength, and I wish you many blessings. Bye-bye.